staying, staying, staying on. We're all together, together we're alone. Yeah, we're inside a lockdown. We're staying. routines give the child predictability. Predictability is one of the major things to help calm the human stress response system, knowing what's going to happen. It's important to understand that routines are not about time for children. Time is all a concept up here in your frontal cortex and adults live by the clock. Children tend to live by rhythms. So the rhythm of having dinner, um, having a bath, dad reads me a story, go to sleep, that's a routine for a child. Routine and free play aren't really opposing opposites. They're really two sides to the same coin. As in, yep, child-directed free play is about the child initiating all of the learning and us following and scaffolding that, but that happens within a context of the child getting up at a similar time, going to bed at a similar time, having meals at a similar time, washing their hands. All of that routine is going to really help children feel safe and secure. I'd encourage you to be flexible with that routine. It is a new normal, so you may adjust bedtimes and sleeping times to suit your family. As long as they're predictable and they happen in a regular time, you're really getting the best of both worlds. I am aware though that I'm saying that from the comforts of home, where my youngest daughter here is 21, so quite self-sufficient. Got lots of empathy for you parents that are in the house during lockdown with lots of little children to be entertained. So over to my friend Nadia, she's usually a film producer, but now, like a lot of other people, finds herself an at-home parent with children to entertain. How's it going Nadia? A grand plan for the week, lasted about a day. It was a great day though. Um, I got up early and did some work before the kids got up. Um, um, then the kids got up, they were really excited by the prospect of homeschooling, I think it's a novelty factor. Um, they set themselves up with a space in the lounge, um, we did some cooking, we even pickled some beetroot, um, we were like a scene out of one of those children's books, homely woodland creatures, uh, anthropomorphic squirrels, um, but yeah like I say it lasted a day um, and then we just sort of threw that all out the window. Um, Personally, I just felt really physically tired. And yeah, kids always feed off your energy, don't they? So um, yeah, so we've just spent the rest of the week just kind of trying to adjust. It's worth noting that these four weeks are not gonna represent an academic emergency to your child. Four weeks at the end of the day is not gonna be the make it or break it point. Remember, two weeks of this is supposed to be holidays anyway. So instead of, say, focusing on using this time to improve your child's reading age or maths ability, I'd caution you against that. At the end of the day, when parents set about teaching their children, they tend to fall to a 1920s model of teaching rather than a 2020 model of teaching. And if you damage your child's perception of themselves as a learner, if you make learning miserable, then that's what's going to stick with the kid for the rest of their life, not the fact that you improve their reading age by one year. So I would focus on things that are going to create joy and strengthen your connection and the sense of belonging in the family. And <laughs> idea that I pinned about four years ago so I guess it's a great example of having the time suddenly to to do these things that you thought might be cool. One of the things I wanted to speak to you first is about the kids screen time. Mm -hmm. Now I know no one wants to hear that and I know screens are a part of modern day life but the reality is there is a clear research-based link between anxiety and depression and screen time and we're now going into a period of at least four weeks could be more where there could be a real tendency to let kids be on the screens all the time. And what we'll see is a plummet in the mental health. New Zealand already has alarmingly high rates of anxiety and depression for children, so it is something we've got to be aware of. Best race of the day is Beauty Bird versus Dark. Yeah, we're inside a lockdown. We're staying.